tell me what high school was like. Girlfriends. Girlfriends. Mostly. A lot? Well, at least two. Do you remember their names? One's name was Sue, like my girlfriend here. The girlfriend here's name is Sue. So you had a girlfriend named Sue. Yeah. Sue what? Do you remember her last name? Yeah, Brown. You're making that up. No, I'm not okay. making it up. Who else? Brownie was the shortstop on our baseball team. You went out with the shortstop on your baseball team? <laughs> no. You called him Sue? Brownie was uh, a boy named Sue. I now get the song. The guy that was uh, Sue was his girlfriend for real. I mean, he got to take her places, like proms and stuff like that. So, what was she to you? She was a uh, a girlfriend. What did you guys do for fun, like social fun, like uh, a date? A date, or, or there was a show called Happy Days, which was supposedly set in the fifties, where people would go to the malt shop and listen to the jukebox. Did you guys do that, or not? No, we couldn't afford the malt, malt shop because you had to pay for a malt. What would you do then? Steal one if we could, but for fun. For fun, we used to dance at lunchtime in the school. On. So you're at school, it's lunchtime, someone plays music and a song comes out and you're like, I am going to go dance. Yes. Was there, a, was there a song you can remember that you'd be like, yeah, when that came on, I was out there? Uh, I was trying to think of the ones that uh, the Shea Gretel or old guy did. Was, Jerry Lee Lewis. No, no. Elvis Presley. Elvis. Yeah. Jerry Lee Lewis was the shake, rattle, and roll guy. Well, you know that now, but you didn't know that then. <laughs> shaboom, shaboom. Ya da 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 Shaboom, shaboom. Ya da 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 Shaboom. Up yours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it goes. I don't think it went that, quite that way, but. <laughs> okay, so what else in high school do you remember? What Tell us about high school. Well, it was all sports. Okay, so um, which did you like more, baseball or basketball? Uh, probably baseball. They're more games. That's when I got taken out at second base for a year. When you were in high school? Yeah. See the scar? Yep. That's it. What happened? A guy took me out of second base, a big Pollock from Piney Fork, neighboring school. I was trying to do a double play, and I never did, had a good enough arm to pivot well and get out of the way. He took me out, crossbody block, man. I was out for a, a long time. And that was in high school? Yeah. Did it take you out of basketball season? Yeah, for a while. Mm. But what, um, who's the best coach you ever played for? The high school basketball coach, Ed Straw, Strelowski. He was an All-American from Pitt, All-American Polish. He was on the All-Polish team. And he was, a great, he was the best coach I ever had in high school and college. The coach would teach us the tricks of the trade. I was a very good defensive player, which small guys very seldom were. But he taught us, he taught me how to play defense. And I could coach it today like I used to when you were in playing little kids basketball. What are the keys to playing defense? What did you learn that you would say, okay, here's what people need to know if they want to play okay. good basketball defense? You always stay between your man and the basket. Always. No matter where you were and where the basket was, you stay between your man and the basket. And you were right on him. You were right shaking your hands in his face. And when he would shoot a jump shot, boom, you'd give him one of those right here. Did they call, did they call, that, did they call that the Pillsbury Doughboy? <laughs> no. They called it the Dirty Pollock. But one of them for playing against a high score, you always smacked his hands. They hated it. 
a high score hates you hitting his hands all the time. It makes you mad. Mm -hmm. It bothers you, and you don't score very much if somebody's slapping your hands all the time. And the refs don't call it unless you make a big noise when you slap them. Right. How do you slap someone's hand <laughs> quietly? <laughs> Gently. <laughs> Gently with force. Yes. Um, That's how I got these. See those? Yeah. Relatively gnarled. <laughs> we'll maybe get a close-up of that later. Um, oh, did you have uh, did you have any nicknames? Your your family called you baby. Did you have nicknames in high school? Slick, slick. Yeah, I nicknamed myself. myself. <laughs> I thought slick was cool. Slick is cool. Yeah, slick is. Did cool. anybody besides you call yourself call you slick? No. Okay. No, you have to kind of grow those things. What kind of car did you drive? Did you were you able to drive a car ever? Did your parents let you, or did you have a car? Yes, sure, sure. We had a car. Always had a car. You personally? No, no. The how everybody got to drive it in the family. What was it? It was a uh, it was a Pontiac, and that was the car that when I was in high school I drove to. To the uh, proms and things like that. So you, that's, you, you're doing great. I know. <laughs> Did, were you a good student? Yes. I used to take tests really well. I could remember what the what the paragraph looked like on the paper. I had sort of sort of that kind of memory. Not not the kind that was really good like that, but the kind that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I got good grades in high school. Did you have subjects that you liked? I liked, uh, I didn't like math, but I liked geometry. Geometry seemed like fun because it was shapes and stuff. Uh -huh. But I got good grades and that's all I cared about was being able to get in college. That's one of the reasons I got a scholarship too is I had good high school grades. So um, how did the process of figuring out where you were going to go happen? Whatever was free, I was going to go. And you wanted to go on a basketball scholarship? Yes. How did they, how did they find out about the Pittsburgh Pine, Pine Size Pittsburgh Terror in Roanoke, Virginia? Well, they took us, we started out, I can't remember who drove, it might have been my, my basketball coach, probably. There was a coach that, that coached Homestead High School which was a big time basketball high school. And this coach was well known as one of the top in the, in the country. And he liked my game and he liked me. And he, was, he helped set these things up where we went, to the, we went to colleges and tried out. That was a real experience. Mm. And so I remember going to uh, to place places where we'd get to a, a one of the big time basketball colleges and they would work us out, they would have us play against other guys. That so, came in. Yeah, they, they like came in. For, where they're showing yeah, different talents. And guys like Hot Rod Hunley I played there with and the guy that played for the the Celtics for years, jump shooter, big guy, 6'6". Six, six. Tommy Heinsohn. Heinsohn, exactly. Thank you. I couldn't come up with Heinsohn. So that was on a tour for colleges to see high school players. Yeah. So the Roanoke coach. Do you remember his name? Yeah, Buddy Hackman. He was a football coach. He was the football coach. Yeah, he was and the basketball coach. Yeah, he didn't know basketball very well, but he knew football and knew how to compete. But he saw you in one of these tryouts? Oh yeah, we, I went there and played against the starting guard and uh, Dave Piontek played against the starting center and we just beat the crap out of them. I mean, physically we hurt them. Because you could, uh, I was guarding them like I used to and Bethel, we, they, didn't, they didn't call them too tight because we all, my dad always had this, the ref, to our house to drink before the games, and the guy was a homer if I ever saw one. I'd be slapping these guys' hands and poking them and everything, and 
He never called anything on me. <laughs> it was fixed. Was he one of the slows? He probably was one of the slows. <laughs> he was an Italian guy. Forget his, forget his name, but I know he was... Uh, he was uh, refed a lot of our games, all the big ones, <laughs> all the big ones, and so we cheated on all the big ones. Good? How many letters do you think I made? Well, I'd say wrong. Four. Letters, high school letters. College. No, we're not talking about we're not talking about college yet. But I'm going to say six. Let's see. Four in basketball. Two in golf. One in golf. One in golf. One in baseball. Really? Yeah, we dropped baseball after my first year. Were you going to play both? Yeah. We didn't change hats, and now we're already talking about college. I'd have had the baseball hat.